Well, hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you guys here again. We're looking into May the 17th and May the 18th is 2023. Now this is a message right now. It's for the collective and of course everyone is welcome here. Take a resonate. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit here if it's not a story. Okay. So message for everyone. May the 17th, May the 18th. Happy birthday to the sign of Taurus. I'm open for personal readings right now. Take advantage of the specials that I have now. Okay. This is too many to flip down here. All right. So let's take a look at it. May the 17th and the 18th of 2023, please. Message for the collective. All right, here we go. So the flip down here. And this is great fortune. Okay, what's the energy? So around the May the 17th and May the 18th, 2023. We have a merge right here. May the 17th and May the 18th of 2023. Yeah, I'm hearing the name Simone or something like that. Expect expectation right there. At the bottom of the deck, look at that. It's a thief. Okay, let's see what else we get in here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right. Allow me now to be the channel here. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, May the 17th and May the 18th of 2023. Message for the collective. All right. So what we're going to get here. May 17th and May the 18th of 2023, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right. The sun card right here. Deception and Envy card is right there. Right here with this marriage. Would you look at that? Oh my. What's the message please right here? May the 17th and May the 18th is 2023, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. May the 17th and May the 18th is 2023. All right, so we have right here, um, Memories of Love. And then right here, we have Foundation and Achievement right there. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and jump into this message, see what we're going to get here. May the 17th, May the 18th, 2023. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Allow me now to be the channel right here. May the 17th, and May the 18th, it's 2023. All right, here we go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, so we have the sun cart right here. So this could be a deal, all right? I'm getting like somebody is very successful in some way. It definitely could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Okay, let's see what this one is down here. A fool. Okay, all right. So we have a Leo and an Aries, maybe. Maybe that's significant some type of way. Could be the things here. Then we have over here, Great Fortune. All right, so this one kind of like Aquarius energy, like the, um, the uh, barrier, right? So, yeah, I feel like Aquarius, Leo, and Aries. That's the kind of feel right here. Could be significant some way. But this the light. This looks like um somebody's in this in the front. Maybe they're a star. Maybe they're a celebrity. Could be the case. This could be a Leo over here. The fool part right here. Okay, something's unexpected, I feel for some people. Maybe something here is unexpected about an Aries or Leo or some way. Okay, what's that last place right here? Ooh, six of swords right here is reverse. Alright. So somebody doesn't want to leave the Aries or the Leo, I feel, for some people right here. Or, or somebody feels foolish right here when they look back to the Leo or to the Aries. I feel like they look kind of foolish or something like that. Yeah, they have regret right here. They have regret right here when they look back to this Leo or this Aries right here, okay? I'm going to be like, for some of you, you could be famous for some people right here. This one right here, to start us off, is a successful card. And then a the great fortune. I feel like somebody is, um, somebody's famous, I feel, for some people here. When somebody looks back to you, they see you're famous or something like that. Well, they have regret about something they were doing. I feel when they look back to you for some people right here. Okay. Yeah, because I'm here like marvelous or something like that. Yeah, the judgment part right here. So I'm like, this person has been awakened right here. And they do feel kind of foolish about something right here. When they look back to you, they regret about something right here. Okay, because they could be awakened now that you're going to be a star or that you are a star or you're, you're a celebrity. All right, for a source right here. I feel like somebody's contemplating about you or this Leo is. Somebody is. Okay. What's the great fortune card right here? What's the great fortune card right here? Because I'm getting like, it won't stop. You know that song by Severn? She said, and it won't stop. Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah. It won't stop right there. Yeah, some money. It won't stop. I'll build for some people right here. All right. Yeah. So somebody wants to be your lover. Could be a Gemini for some people here. Okay. So I'm like somebody's looking back to the Gemini right now, the Leo and the Aries. They're looking back to them. I'm getting right here. 
okay ace of cups right here reverse they're looking back to how you have self-love right here okay how they did want to be your true love they you know yeah king of cups right here could be a cancer pisces or scorpio right here i'm here with simona something like that okay i feel like that's the person right there okay yeah six of cups so somebody here is definitely having memories right here about you they feel foolish about something for some people right here okay that you could be famous or that you are famous right now for some people right here i'm getting like it's shown to them but this one right here is the light it's shown to them and right here i feel like somebody realizes right here that you are going to be famous i feel for some people here i feel like they know you're going to be famous right here what's this great fortune right here yeah i feel like either you're a psychic right here or this is coming through somebody's intuition right here okay yeah Something right here is covered through, it's cooked through that intuition right here that you got this great fortune or that maybe they spoke to a psychic. That could be the case. Somebody here could have spoke to a psychic right here. All right. And they could see right here that um, you definitely are destined, I feel, right here to, to bring in money. Somebody here is going to be famous or they are, I feel, right here. You know? And somebody's definitely looking back to that right here. And they feel kind of foolish about something right here. They could be being deceptive in some type of way. Maybe they didn't tell somebody here they was married. Could be the case. All right, something like that. What's the message right here? Deception and envy. Yeah, look at that. The Queen of Wands is reversed. Yeah, so I'm like some deception that's going on in some type of way is drama, and it's marriage or something like that. It's drama. All right, for them being deceptive in some way. Okay, that's one way it could be. Another thing this could be right here. It's it also says envy. So somebody here also could be jealous because somebody here is married. All right, they could be very upset right here with some people because you're lacking the motivation to do something. Queen of Wands reverse is lacking the motivation, or it's drama right here. Okay, I feel like I feel like they envious for some people right here. Yeah, they're upset right here because some cycle's complete right here. I feel, and that's drama either to them or to you or something like that. Okay, or maybe because they was being deceptive about something, it caused drama and then some cycle completed here. Okay. Page of Wands right here. This could be a younger fire sign of Aries or Leo again or Sagittarius right here. Alright. So somebody here, you know, I just feel like right here, right? They had some type of deception in some type of way. And now they envious because you're famous or that you're going to be famous right here. I feel like somebody could be envious right here for some people right here. I feel like they had deception before. Okay, yeah, they was juggling maybe right here for some people here. Uh, that could be the case. Even could be for some people here, they want to negotiate something. And I feel like that cycle could be complete right here for some of you to negotiate with something here. I they want a new cycle right here with you, but I feel like it's drama. The Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? The Queen of Wands reverse is drama. Or somebody may feel like you're a player. So play that. Yeah. The chariot right here. Could be a cancer right here. Well, somebody's lacking the motivation because something here about a cancer or this cancer is lacking the motivation with the trade part right there. Either could be something about a vehicle is drama in some way with this one right here. So somebody even could be envious of your vehicle in some way. That's one way it could be right here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups is reverse for here, okay. So yeah. So I feel like somebody here does want a new start. They see that you're having good news right here in some way. I feel like something was drama that happened before or the Queen of Wands reverse is the fact right here that maybe somebody feels like you have other lovers you can deal with now or something like that or you just lack a motivation to do something here in some way. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I'm gonna like, you're somebody that's completely stable and dependable and reliable right here. Okay, but somebody here, they could be definitely upset right here the way this one looking. They, they could be upset right here, I feel, you know, because you're lacking the motivation to deal with somebody that's being deceptive in some type of way. Maybe they didn't want a relationship right here. Maybe they was juggling right here. And I feel like you could be all done with negotiating with them about something right here, you know, being deceptive or whatever, you know. Yeah, I feel like you know if they've been deceptive or not, I feel. You know if they was juggling or not, something like that, you know. What's the marriage card? I feel like they're envious of you. Okay, Knight of Swords right here. So somebody here wants a relationship with you or they want you to talk to them right here. Could be the case for some people here. But others right here, I feel like you know the truth right here about a marriage. So that also could be the case. The Knight of Swords could bring the truth about a marriage in some way for some people here. 
So for some people, they're married that didn't say anything to you. Or this is somebody you're married to right here. Yeah, look at that. The five of swords right here. Okay. This even could be somebody you was dealing with. They went off and got married. And, you know, with this card right here. Because this woman right here looked quite hurt about it. Okay. Well, somebody here could have been hurt about something right here. Okay. Some truth right here about a marriage. All right. In some way. Somebody knows they was being deceptive right here about this marriage in some way. That's why they definitely do know it. And I feel like this person feels foolish right here because they want to come back for some people right here. The tower is over here reversed. They cause extreme tower right here doing that, I feel. This one right here. Yeah. I'm here with unforgettable. So something that somebody did right there is unforgettable. It's, it's surrounding a marriage in some type of way. I feel right here. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. The nine of swords. I feel like you came out anxiety about it right here. Yeah, you healed or something like that. Okay, I feel like you became a star or you are a star right here. I feel like somebody else is still all in their head about whatever happens around a marriage right here. They, they're still all in their head about it. They still not letting go of it right here. Or they still want to hold on to you. Okay, I feel for some people here. Right, I feel like they still want to hold on to you. They want to come out anxiety. They want to work this out maybe. Or marry you or something like that they want to do right here. All right. Any other card here? This much. Yes, yeah, so they still want investment right here for some people here. I'm getting like after they did this, whatever this was right here. Whatever they did right there, right? They want to come back for some people here. Okay. I'm getting like that caused extreme tower with the tower reverse. Extreme revelation or extreme disruption to this marriage for some people here. Or the fact that they are married could be the case here. Okay, so somebody's thinking back to this right here because I have the Six of Cups right here, right? And I have the Six of Cups again in a whole different deck is right here. So somebody's thinking back right here, okay? Expectation card. They're thinking back right here either how they was expecting to marry you or how um, you was expecting them to marry you or something like that. What's the memories of love? Okay, the Star card right here. Yeah. How you healed right here. Well, they was expecting to heal something right here with you. Could be Aquarius. Right? Yeah. Two of swords right here reverse. It's clarity right here that you healed from something that already happened before, I feel. Alright? So, I feel like somebody over here was still holding on tight to something here. But I just feel like the tower reverse is like extreme revelation to some merge. And I just feel like, because this card right here, it's like somebody did something right here to this person, right? Then you see over here, they walked away. So maybe somebody walked away and everything. Somebody healed. Not a sports reverse. They came out of anxiety. They healed about this, I feel. So, hmm. And I'm getting like for some of you, you're a star. Something like that right here. They have to be realistic about something right here because you already healed about this. Something like that. Okay. So I kind of feel that they have to be realistic about that. And we get like your inner strength is really, really strong right here. Okay. You're powerful. You're a star. You're a celebrity. For some people here, or you're famous or something like that, I feel. Okay. Hey, the pentagram, I feel like you put hard work into something right here. You're completely focused and you are healing or you are going to be focused upon being famous right here. What's the expectation for her? Yeah. So I'm getting like, you know that you believe in yourself you're not giving up right here okay and somebody here in, the, in the past could expect it to heal it with you for some people right here or well, somebody knows who they was expecting to do in the past in some way they know about it right here yeah they was expecting to reconcile right here with you for some people here i feel like it was all right well somebody knows right here they was expecting to hold on to a third person somebody knows that too i'm getting here too but they definitely do know what somebody's expecting in some way here. Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Hanging Man. For some people, somebody knows what they was expecting to do in the past. I feel like they walked away not even knowing that you knew what they was expecting to do in some way. It looks like holding on to a third party for some people. Um, or reconciling with you or something. All right? And I feel like they walked away, I feel. But they was expecting to come back, I feel, for some people right here with these cards. The hanging man right here. Alright? They realize it right here that you know what they was expecting to do in the past for some people right here. That's my dogs in the background in case you hear them. Ten of swords right here. Ten of cups for some people right here. 
you know, somebody's stuck because that's the final chapter for some people, whatever they did right here. It just caused too much of a tower moment, extreme, and the tower of reverse is extreme. Okay. Something right here was extreme that happened right there, okay? Any other mess right here? Expectation? And I just feel like you're you're famous or you're becoming a celebrity for some people here. You're definitely going to come out of the dark or you're going to come out of um, some poverty or something like that. You're coming out of the poverty situation, I feel, for some people, right? Here. Okay? Somebody's heartbroken about you, okay? Because I feel like they was trying to... They was trying to Play somebody out of position. The Empress of Earth is somebody who doesn't know their worth. They was expecting somebody here not to know their worth. They was expecting to come out of a poverty situation, I feel, for some people right here. Or get money from somebody right here. And some action that somebody did right here, they're heartbroken right here, I feel. Because for some people, this, this situation is simply hopeless. For some people, it's hopeless. Others right here, they want to apologize to you and have a new start right here with you, I feel. They really did. What's this thief card? Let's go ahead and jump into it here. We had a thief up here as an overall energy here. So let's see. What's this thief right here doing? What's the thief card right here? Okay, yes, yeah, Seven of Swords is right here again. This is the Seven of Swords, and this is the Seven of Swords right here. So somebody here was cheating and lying, okay? I'm getting like triple right here because this one, right, is right on top of this one. Triple, right? Cheating and lying in some type of way. Okay. You're in a relationship right here. I feel like it ended. Somebody, somebody's not going to do that. They're not going to do that right here. Or that ended a relationship right here. The fact that somebody here was cheating and lying. This even could be somebody was stealing from somebody right here. For some people here. Okay. It could be the case. All right. And this four of wands could be they were stealing from a marriage. They were stealing from a house. Or they were stealing from some creative project in some type of way. Okay. What's the mess right here, Thief card? Yeah, I'm here like Brown or Brenda, something like that. Brenda. Yeah, see, the Emperor right here is reverse, okay? So somebody here is not going to deal with it. The Emperor reverse is somebody that's overdoing their control right here. Could be an Aries or a Scorpio right here, okay? This is a relationship or some project or something like that. And a Death card, right? I'm getting like, somebody knows they're single, or somebody knows something here is about money in some type of way. Somebody knows that right here, okay? The truth right here, about a pregnancy, or some type of way, or who they was working together with, somebody knows that, or they made a clear decision to be single right here, I feel, okay? Foundation and achievement, and I just feel like that for some of you, you really have achieved something right here, okay? You could definitely be a celebrity, or a star. Or famous or something like that right here. Somebody here, they have bad karma. The justice card reverse is going to be bad karma on that situation. Could be a Libra right here. But that's definitely bad karma I'm getting right here. All right. So they're going to get bad karma. It's heavy on them. Or something that something about the situation is going to be heavy on them in some way right here. Something is a burden right here. Okay. It could be the fact that they chose to be with somebody else right here. Or it's a burden to get you to love them. For some people right here, they don't have any money in this relationship over here. They with for some people here. Okay. Yeah, page of pentacles. It's too hard to be trustworthy for some people right here. That's their combo or something like that. It's too hard for them to be trustworthy if they did something like you to somebody here. It caused extreme time, I feel. Some conflict or misunderstanding or something. I'm getting like the Virgo walked away or somebody walked away from the Virgo right here. Okay, or the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or the Libra. They walked away, I feel, for some people right here. All right. I'm getting like they walked away because it was too much conflict right here. You know, or them walking away is wishful thinking. It wasn't going to work. They was wash, walking away from something right here, okay? Yeah, I just feel like something is a missed opportunity and that's their karma or something for some people here, okay? That's fates. They realize that right now, okay? That you're going to be famous right here. There's nothing they can do about it. They can't make you come back to a relationship for some people. I feel like you walked away for some people right here, you know? Some conflict or something like that that somebody was having right here, somebody has turned their back and walked away. I feel for some people here. Or was wishful thinking they could walk away from you. Because that means you can walk away too then or something like that. And I just see like you really is focused right here on your career or money or something like that. Because these first two cards was great fortune right here. And the light. I'm getting like that's money right here that you're making for some people here. Or that is set to happen for you very soon or something like that. Could be July the 19th. 
but well, June the 19th, okay? But yeah, that's what I have for here, okay? Thank you so much for tuning to this message. And we'll get back together again soon. I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.